Hello students, welcome to Charu's classes. Today we are continuing with question number 5, exercise 1.1, relations and functions. Check whether the relation R and R defined as R is equal to AB such that A is less than equal to B cube is reflexive, symmetric or transitive. The relation R and R, here pe this capital R is for the real numbers. Now, real numbers mein humare integers, whole numbers, natural numbers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, sab aate hain. So, to prove that it is uh, or to check whether it's reflexive, symmetric or transitive, hume yaha pe subtype ke number check karne hain. Agar ek bhi hume false milta hai, to fir hum lik sakte hain ki it is not. So, let's begin with reflexive. So, reflexive condition tab hoti hai when Suppose that element A such that all A belonging to a set A, this A comma A belongs to the relation. So, if we numbers A and B, ko, pe A ko agar hum, suppose 1 lete hai, to 1 is less than or equal to 1 cube, ye to true. Ho suppose I take 2, so 2 is less than or equal to 2 cube, ye bhi true. Ho Lekin, if I am taking any of the rational numbers, suppose I take half. So, here pe half and half ka cube jo hai, which will come as 1 by 8. So, half jo hai is not less than or equal to 1 by 8. That means half comma half does not belong to the relation. Why? If two parts mein se one part hai, that is bigger than eight parts mein se one part. So, half is not less than or equal to half ka cube. So, here we can say it is not reflex, uh, not reflexive. Let's check the symmetric condition now. Symmetric condition tab hoti hai, such that if a comma b belongs to R, then b comma a should also belong to R. So yahan pe let's take one and two. Suppose my one and two a and b leti hu. So one is less than or equal to two cube. One less than or equal to eight hota hai. That is true. But if I take 2 and 1, let you, so 2 is not less than or equal to 1 cube, right? So we can say that 1 comma 2 belongs to R, but 2 comma 1 does not belong to R. So since it does not belong to R, this is not symmetric. Let's check transitive. Transitive hota hai agar a comma b belongs to the relation and b comma c also belongs to relation then if a comma c is a part of relation to hum use bol dete hai transitive to yahan pe bhi hum kuch examples leke check karenge suppose aap 1 2 and 3 lete ho to 1 is less than or equal to 8 2 is less than or equal to 27 and 1 is less than or equal to 27 so, in this case, mein wo theek ho hai. But we have to look for that if there is something where it is not true. So, let's take A as 9 and B as 3 and C as 2. Now, if we take 9, ko agar lenge, 9 is less than or equal to 3 cube. 9 is less than or equal to 3 cube. If I take 3, 3 is less than or equal to 2 cube because it is less than or equal to 8. Se but now if I take 9, so 9 comma 3 belongs to R, 3 comma 2 belongs to R. But if I check 9 comma 2, yani ki agar main check karu ki 9 2 cube se less than equal to hai, to that is not true. So 9 comma 2 does not belong to this relation. Therefore this one is not transitive. Question number 6. Show that the relation R in the set 1, 2, 3 given by R is 1, 2, comma, 2, 1 is symmetric but neither reflexive nor transitive. So let's first check reflexive. So this relation hai, we can clearly see ki 1, comma, 1, 2, comma, 2 and 3, comma, 3 they do not belong to the relation. Therefore it is not reflexive. Let's check for symmetric. Ab yahan pe 1 comma 2 belongs to R. And we can see 2 comma 1 is also belonging to R. 
Therefore, this is a symmetric relation. Now let's check for transitive. So if I say 1 comma 2 belongs to R and 2 comma 1 belongs to R, then agar 1 comma 1 bhi R ko belong karta, to wo transitive hota. But 1 comma 1 is not belonging to R, therefore it is not transitive. Question number 7. Show that the relation R in the set A of all the books in a library of a college given by R is equal to XY, X and Y have same number of pages is an equivalence relation. Equivalence relation wo relation hoti hai, which is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Agar ye teeno conditions fulfilled hoti hai, to hum usse equivalence relation bolte hai. So, yahaan pe, there are books in a library of college. So, jo books ka set hoga, suppose it is B1, B2, B3 and so on. Iska isi ke saath relation hai. But relation kaisa hai? That X and Y have same number of pages. So, if we check for reflexive first. Suppose, let's take the element A. Or let's take the book B1. So, this B1, B1. It will belong to the relation Y because a single book have same number of pages, right? We cannot say that it will be not related to itself. Because one hi book has the same number of pages, so B1 and B1 are related to related. Hogi hi. Therefore, it is reflexive. Now, let's check symmetric. So, suppose X, Y or let's take X, Y belongs to R. Iska matlab, the book X and Y in me same number of pages hai. Therefore, definitely Y, X will also belong to R. Why? Because X and Y have same number of pages. So, because of this, it will be symmetric also. Because X, Y and Y, X both belong to the relation. Now, let's take another book Z to check for transitive. So, if x, y belongs to R, x and y may same number of pages. Hai. y, z also belongs to R. Book y and z may be equal number of pages. So, definitely x, z will also belong to R because x or z may be equal number of pages. Hai. So, this is going to be transitive also. And since this relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, this is equivalence relation. Hai. Question number 8. Show that the relation R in the set A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 given by R is equal to AB such that mod of A minus B is even. So mod of A minus B is even. Ye hamara relation hai. Mod ka matlab hai ki answer positive or negative ho. Hame uska positive answer hi consider karna hai. And relation aisa hai ki it will be even. So, we have to show that it is an equivalence relation. That is the first part. So, and then show that all the elements of 1, 3, 5 are related to each other and all the elements of 2, 4 are related to each other but no element of 1, 3, 5 is related to any element of 2, 4. So, sabse pehle hume se equivalence relation show karna hai. So, let's begin with its reflexive one. So, if I say uh, mod a minus b is even, I take any number, lu. suppose I take 1 comma 1. So, mod of 1 minus 1, my 0 will come. Mod of 2 minus 2, that will also come 0. So, in any case, I can see that this is even. Aa raha hai. Therefore, my 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 4 comma 4, 5 comma 5, all this, it's belonging to the relation and therefore it is reflexive. So I'll write this, all this, they belong to the relation. So it is reflexive. Now let's check the symmetric relation. Now symmetric relation ke liye, we have to consider any two elements. So koi bhi agar two elements mein leti hun, jin ko minus karne pe, I'm getting an even answer. Suppose I take 1,3 So, isko jab main subtract karke mod lungi to mera answer aega 2 So, this is even 
so if 1 comma 3 belongs to r then my 3 comma 1 is also belonging to r right 1 minus 3 uska mod lenge to wo bhi 2 aega and 3 minus 1 uska mod lenge to wo bhi 2 aega because i am getting even 1 by 3 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 1 dono hi r ko belong karenge to aisa main koi bhi number lo unka difference agar even aata hai to ab ka aata hai to ba ka bhi aega so therefore it is a symmetric relation now let's check for transitive so transitive ke liye, let me take uh, any example suppose i take 1 comma 3 ye relation may belong karta hai because its difference even aata hai now suppose i take 3 comma 1 ye bhi relation may belong karta hai because its result even aata hai so is 1 comma 1 a part of relation ye mera ab hai ye mera bc hai so my a and c are they related 1 comma 1 b relation ka part hai so therefore it is reflexive symmetric and transitive and therefore it is an equivalence relation ab unhone bola hai so that all elements of 1 3 5 are related to each other so let's check 1 comma 3 is relation ka part hoga right then my 3 comma 5 will also be a part of this relation and 1 comma 5 also will be a part of relation same way 3 comma 1 5 comma 3 and 5 comma 1 b they will all belong to this relation kyunki inko agar hum subtract karenge we are getting the answer as even number so ye sab jo hai we can see that they are related to each other now let's check for 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 ya 4 comma 2 ye dono bhi mere relation ko belong karenge because inka difference 2 aata hai which is an even number but if i think of checking 1 and 2 3 and 4 3 and 2 5 and 4 in sab mein mujhe subtract karne ke baad even answer nahi mil raha hai so i will write that the difference of numbers when we take something like 1 comma 2 or 3 comma 4 or 5 comma 2 it is not coming even and since it is not coming even these are not related to each other the question may have a bus proof karna tha ki 1 3 3 5 5 1 ye to aapas mein related hai 2 4 4 2 is related but amongst themselves they are not related so here we have proved it if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you